Yeah, Joe, there's no doubt Conan Morgan is leaving behind quite the legacy as family and friends put it today. He was dedicated to making the world a better place. A celebration of life for Conan Morgan, a man his mother called a true servant of the community. My heart is full. Thank you for loving my child. The 42-year-old's homegoing celebration had visitors hugging, holding hands, and sharing memories. Among the many things that I admired about Conan was his ability to engage and to connect with people on a very deep level. Courageous guy, he's always been a very humble guy, a very loving guy. Fight to make the social change that Conan fought for daily. Even calling on the audience to continue his legacy. He worked on my campaign. You know, he pushed me, he believed in me when nobody else did. He gave me my first campaign donation. Morgan was proud to support black women in North Carolina politics managing historic campaigns for the first black female mayors of Durham and Charlotte. He led the way for me to be successful in my first election. And that election was so special because it was being the first black woman to lead the city. The legacy, the life that Coney wants us to give to this community is to be a friend. Pastor Chuck Reed, recognizing Morgan as a friend, connector, and someone many people have leaned on over the years. And Governor Cooper awarded Morgan with the Order of the Longleaf Pine, the highest honor that a citizen making significant contributions in the state could earn. We're live in Raleigh, Akila Davis, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. I want to serve his friends, family, in Washington, to Raleigh, to all around the world, we're there today. He touched a lot of lives, as you can see, yeah.